Hello everyone, uh, my name is Lembit and today I'm going to give you three tips that will make your life a bit easier in Seal 3D. So the first one and the most important one is adjusting the existing sub-assembly which is already used somewhere in the project. For example, I have this small corridor right here. And I would like to add a point code to this point right here. But as you can see, I don't, know, I don't have one. So how do I do that without moving the targets uh, in the corridor and so on? Let me show you. Here is my uh, sub-assembly. And to this point, I would like to add a point code. So let's make it, for example, B1. Here you go, B1. I'm going to save it. Then we are going to return back to the tool palette. As you can see, I have two duplicates already, even three, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. So what I can do is uh, I click import sub assemblies. I show that shoulder one once again. It's going to give me that error message, but it's just fine. Doesn't matter. Click OK and duplicate is created. As you can see, nothing has changed, right? Uh, you can do that by clicking on the assembly properties. Just click on construction and OK. And as you can see, the point right here is made. And if we rebuild the corridor, for example, I have this small polyline target. I'm going to rebuild it. And all the targets should be the same and nothing changed. Here you go. And if you need to add this B1 point, for example, to the surface or something, then you can see that right here, it's now right here, the feature lines. So this tip number one, you can uh, use it for the links or for the shapes, or for example, if you need to change some, how the, for example, how the one of the layers is built, it's possible as well. But if you're planning to change, for example, some parameters that right here, for example, you would like to add PAVE 4, but this one is already used in this project, then this this small tip won't, won't work because, well, you can do minor adjustments to the uh, sub-assembly, but this one is major already, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So yeah, this is the first tip. Uh, the second one is when you're using the same sub-assembly on both sides of the assembly. Which uh, by that I mean that, for example, I have this carriageway one on the left and uh, carriageway one as well on the right, as well as uh, my shoulders. Uh, they call the value from uh, carriageway one, right? But sometimes it can happen that uh, w left shoulder or right shoulder will take the sum of the values from the other side. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea why this happens. But my recommendation is that if you are using the same sub-assembly on both sides, and you have some other assemblies that are getting values from these sub-assemblies, then I recommend to change the name of the assembly. For example, I usually do that uh, by adding a left and right to the name of the sub-assembly. So you will always be sure that the assemblies get the values from the right side, right from the right and left from the left. There you go. That's a second tip. And the last tip is about the sub-assembly decisions. So I have mentioned this before in my uh, previous videos, but I will mention it once again. It's an important tip to keep in mind. 
So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at this example right here. Decision, right? I have a decision, condition, which means SL uh, equals yes. Right now I have SL equals yes. If I click no, it's going to build a different uh, shape right here. Yep, here we go. Different shape. And what's the point of the decision? Well, it depends on the circumstances of the project, but sometimes you need this one, sometimes you need the other one. So to keep things simple, to keep the sub-assembly clean, you can use on both sides of the decision, same link code, same point, same shape, uh, duplicates. So what do I mean by that is, for example, I have a point uh, 48 right here. As you can see, it's 48 is right here. Uh, but as well, I have a second decision inside this same construction, which has the 48 as well. So depending on the situation, it's going to build the one shape right here, or it's going to build this one, which will be the gravel as well. But, for example, if you have the SL equals no, I will have the same point in the, right here, as you can see, same point, but it's now in the base one. And as you can see, here is two duplicates as well, 48 and 48. The point behind that is when you're building a complicated sub-assembly, you can make decisions to make, for example, in this situation, you can make two different constructions, but uh, the next one, next layer, which is dependent on this first layer above, on the layer above, it's going to get all the info from the, these points right here. Well, if you're not going to duplicate these numbers, these codes and links, you will have to duplicate, for example, all the layers below that. So it's time consuming, it's going to make the sub-assembly heavier, and well, all sorts of things. So just keep in mind that use the decision as much as possible to make your sub-assemblies clean as possible.